you don't have to remember the name. I prefer you use rulers in the beginning. Uh, let me see if I can find a ruler. I can find one. Yes. Mm -hmm. Good. Uh, Roxanne picked these up recently. So first thing is two dots. Okay. No problem. In the right? corners. Let's say I want to draw a automobile. Okay? okay. I will put. A line you don't know what I'm doing yet, and I pull that away from that dot like that. See it? Then I go to the other dot anywhere in the middle. If I want to draw, say, a book, I just want to show you not that type of book, a real school type book, you know, something like this. There's a book that I want to draw. I don't imagine anything. People think the artist has a picture in his mind. He doesn't. You put the book down on the table, and uh, the most important thing to draw is the corner line of the book. Any corner. If you turn it this way, this becomes the corner line. So what you do is you pull away from the dots. Try this. You have to try it on your own to see how it works. I'm just pulling away from the dot, and I'm going to try to draw a box that that book will fit in. So to start over again, I'll put the two dots here so you'll understand what you do. You draw the corner line first of the book, anywhere in this region, and small, about this size. That's just a corner of the book. I'll make it a little bigger. Then you bring the top of that to the dot top of that line, okay? Take your time, don't worry. And you bring the bottom of that to that dot. You understand that? Uh-huh. You can bring the top of this line to the other, the other dot. And the bottom to the dot. I've already got the corner line of the book in, but I say it's about this long. You may not see it just yet. And about this wide. I just cut a Vertical line, absolutely vertical. Then I had the top of this for that dot. If you don't go to the dot, it won't work. So don't work as fast as I would. And I cut it off here and run that to the other dot. The top of this line has to be taken to the other dot. If it doesn't go to the dot, it won't work. There's a basic book. You wow, see that's it? that's really cool. Yeah. yeah. I've always wondered how to draw stuff like that. Oh, look. Now you can take the, the back end of the book, and I'm going to make, what do you want me to make the back end? This, this, this one? Yeah, say? sure, that's good. All you do is a half round here, a little bit of a half round. See it? And then you do a half round here. That's the back end of the book. I'm going to shade it a little bit. Shading is dark. You come up here, you're light. You skip a space. Now, if it says book on here, you could put two dots on this line anywhere you want and head them for the dot with a ruler. Now, try not to do it. The, later, you can work without that. But I'm going to head that dot for the vanishing point and this dot for the vanishing point. See, the line will be straight when you work with a ruler. So far, do you understand it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if it's a book, and I want to write book, the book heads for the vanishing point, the lettering. This is a B, heading for the vanishing point. And the top of the B is square. Make the B square to start with. This goes to that vanishing point, and this goes to the other vanishing point. That's a B, O, O. Not two O, all going to the vanishing point. All these lines, okay. P O O, and now the K, if it doesn't go to the vanishing point, it won't look right. So the K hits that line, and this hits that line. So B O O K, do you see that? Mm -hmm. No? Yeah. If you don't go to the vanishing point, it won't look right. Now, whatever information you have on that book, it goes to the vanishing point. The author's name, Everything heads for that vanishing point or the other. The T heads that way, the top of the T, 
and the shaft of the teeth heads that way. But if you want to write book on the curved surface, like this, you draw a curved surface. You get that information from this point. So you draw a curved surface and write the book going to the vanish point. B, I don't know if you see that, O, O, K. It has to form just like this. Do you understand that? Mm -hmm. Now, go on from there? yeah, but how do you know which vanishing point to draw to? Is it, does it have to do with the, the angle of the, the line? Or the well, just to start with, it's good to do it this way. I can sit down and draw a book right away. I, I know that all these lines go to a vanishing point, so I fake them. When I go away from that, I bring this a little closer to the other, as though they were a vanishing point. Then I cut it off. I cut it off in what I think a book will fit into. Gotcha. I can be wrong, too, about it. So I can change my line. I move the line in closer if I think it's too far away. But you still go, this is going toward that line, okay. and this is going toward that line. So everything coming, if I want to draw, say, a block that a child plays with, I draw the corner line first and head toward what might be a vanishing point. Notice I'm closing in on this line. Now, if it's a block, I'll cut it off about here and about here. But I have to hit the top of that for the vanishing point, and the top of this, there is a block. And you also want to draw some pencils now, so you can... if I had the letter T on that, the T on this surface would look like this. I don't know if you see it. Do you? Mm -hmm. It heads for that vanishing point and the other. Okay. If I put the T here, I get my information from this or this. I head toward the vanishing point, drop it down a little bit, pull back away from the vanishing point, and the shaft of the T runs just like this. If I put the T here, it will be facing the other way. I don't know if you okay. catch that. Yeah. Is that too fast for you? No. Now watch this. 